All right, let's get started. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Mohan Kumar from KVM Networks. So I contributed to Neutron, Neutron Client, SFC, and Heat Resources. Hi all, myself uh, MD Nadeem. I am working in Red Hat, and I have contributed in OpenStack, Cola Project, Chakar Project, and in Heat. So we are here to talk about what is service function chaining. So service function chaining is to help us to automatically provision different tenant flows. Without, uh, let's say, for example, if you want to uh, treat um, HTTP user traffic, we need to put firewall or IDS boxes, and we need to configure using VLAN. It's very uh, difficult for the admin perspective, and it's very time consuming. So we have a dynamic way of uh, provisioning using service function chaining. So service function chaining is a very fascinating term uh, being discussed in recent while. Most of open source uh, IAS services like OpenStack, Open Contrail, ODL, owners are dealing with this. So in the next 10 minutes, are you going to uh, learn how you're going to create Neutron SFC service function chaining using heat template. So first we'll cover a little bit of background about Neutron, service function chaining, heat, and hot template. Then we'll uh, see how to create a dev stack environment, and we'll discuss uh, to have a short demo to look and feel what are the concepts we have explained. So here you could see that our architecture, all the SFC building blocks are highlighted in yellow blocks. So at Neutron server, we have drivers, extensions, and plugins being defined. At bottom level, we have compute node with OVS and OVS agent. This OVS agent will directly speak with SFC driver and help us to download SFC flows. So we had a first release at February 2016. We are part of Neutron Stadium project, and heat supporters was added in Neutron OpenStack release. We also have plugable service function chain driver architecture, so we could play any SDN controller and we could create SFC data path. So we also support dynamic service function chain updation and deletion. So I am going to give a brief introduction about it, as most of you already know about it. And I will show you what are the heat resources is needed to get an up and running SFC environment. So as uh, heat is an OpenStack uh, orchestration tool uh, using which you can deploy almost all OpenStack resources that you need to have an up and running cloud infrastructure. So heat uh, have uh, mainly two major component. One is your heat API that will take the uh, client uh, request from heat client, and there is an inbuilt heat translator uh, within the heat API service, which actually pass your heat template and provide the uh, information to the heat engine via AMQP message bus. And heat engine is solely responsible for creating your requested resources. Like using this, you can create your Nova server, you can create Neutron port, or you can create any uh, Cinder volumes. So uh, Heat mainly support two kind of data format. One is your YML, other is JSON, where YML is most recommended and uh, mostly used template format. So Heat template has six different sections that we will cover in details in our demo section that will be specific to SFC. Uh, uh, specific to SFC uh, service. So to uh, get an up and running SFC service, you need to deploy four different heat resources. That one is your port pair, another heat resource is your port pair group, port chain and flow classifier. That gets into details. So to get a service function instance, you must need to create a port pair corresponding to each service function. So in port pair, it's nothing but a neutron port where you need to specify your ingress and egress port corresponding to your service function instance. 
and then the second one is your port pair group which is nothing but a collection of port pair that is give you that is help you to mainly scale your service uh, uh, port instance and uh, you can even uh, uh, distribute your packet load via port pair group and the third one is your flow classifier that is mainly define the traffic flow and on the basis of your source and destination combination so like uh, there can be uh, multiple possible way you can define your source ip destination ip source port destination port and the last one is your port chain which actually define the sequence of your uh, port pair group and using port chain you can link your port pair group to flow classifier so to give it a try you can simply pull your heat master branch then you need to enable the networking sfc plugin into your dev stack uh, configuration file and then you uh, to create a stack you need to actually create the networking underscore sfc dot yml file the content of this file mainly have all the four heat resources that i have mentioned in the later slide uh, yes last slide we will see the uh, content in later slide also so we'll uh, see Thank you, Nadim, for the wonderful introduction. Let's see what's the bare minimal hot template we should have to have uh, to create SFC resources. So first, the port by creation. I said uh, we should have a resource and a resource name. I put a port pair one and the namespace OS neutron port pair and corresponding parameter we should pass. I have created uh, two port pairs, port pair one and port pair two for service function one and service function two instances. I said, uh, Nadim, earlier we have a port pair group for dynamic uh, load balancing. As of now, I'm not interested into any load balancing stuff, so I'm creating a dedicated port pair group for each port pair. Also, I have a flow classifier, which um, with, uh, I'm interested into uh, ICMP traffic with a source IP address dot one and destination IP address dot which originated from logical source port P1. So that port chain should have corresponding port pair group and flow classifiers. So for demo, we have four uh, different VMs, one is source VM and one destination VM and two service function VMs. Let's see how ICMP ping traffic being um, treated with service function chaining and without service function chaining. So with service function chaining, it should be directed to service functions and without service function chaining, it should directly send to destination. So for demo, as I said, we have yeah, we have a four VMs, source VM, SF1, SF2, and SF3. So I'm sending ICMP ping traffic from dot thirty one to dot thirty seven VM. So let's see a uh, without service function chaining, it should directly goes to destination. So I'm also capturing uh, TCP dump on service function instances. So this service function instances should not show anything. So let's see what hot template, uh, SFC hot template contains. So as I, we already list out that uh, ex like bare minimal requirement, I'm exactly put the same requirement here, and I'm going to create SFC stack. So let's see, uh, that should not be any pre-existing SFC resources. So port pay list not showing anything. So these are the port, port list I'm already created P, P1 to P4. So each one represents one service function. So I'm also capturing, um, I'm also capturing flow rules on compute node. So I'm creating stick hat, hit stack, and stack name. Okay. Uh, followed by template name. So it takes some time to create. We should make sure that creation successful. So let's see uh, what heat list. So for time consuming, I'm, I'm just for running my thing. Okay. For heat stack, so it should so So the create got 
completed. And traffic should be um, originated to SF1 and SF2, let's see. So this port pay list, it uh, should create uh, that heat stack should, uh, in, in background should create all that neutron resources required. So port pay list and port chain list should have corresponding instances. So port pair, a port chain list should have a port pair group and corresponding flow classifier. Now you can see that traffic is redirected to SF1 and SF2. So corresponding um, Flow rules got downloaded into OVS. You would see push MPLS, pop MPLS. These are very specific flows uh, to SFC. So for any queries, uh, please reach out at us. We uh, just be here. So uh, please reach us. Yeah, thank you. So these are references, and thank you.